Ours wasn't proven, and we paid for it. Because last year, our weakest point was our And because we didn't have the time necessary, it was a good drive train, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. Because we had to wait, we had to switch it all over. At the end. So there was a situation where we, we let the game dictate, we let our design dictate our, our strategy. And you have to be very careful when you do that. You can do it. In general, it isn't very successful. Now, if if your team wants to be innovative, like a good team is Team 190 is a good example, the WPI team. Rarely do they ever win anything, but they're always innovative. That's what they do. They like that. Nothing wrong with having a team that's innovative. It's a great thing. I mean, how, how do the rest of us ever innovate? You, know, you have to have innovators, too. It's just if you want to design to win a match, sometimes you design something that may not be very neat, but it sure works well, and it sure plays the game. You know, you know, so, yeah. When you make these teams, do you try to get a cross-section of what might be your other teams? You know, so, like, if you have a pure you know, kind of design team and a mechanical team, do you try to get one of each or in each In this, I, I divide all everybody up kind of randomly. randomly. And then after we decide what we're going to build, then we're going to divide up into those teams. Those teams. And I don't really, I, I want all the, t all the kids to think about all those pieces. Yeah. And then I'll take their individual expertise or their interest and put them into their the actual fabrication team. So. And again, it all depends how you weight these. I mean, you can weight them any way you want. And then if you want to weight on your team, you want to weight innovation high, it'll, it'll, it'll show you a completely different result. And that's okay. It just You have to decide as a team what you want to do. So. By the way, these will, all these will be on the... Uh, then we're going to we're going to commit to tasks. Now, I showed this. In, you know, you're probably going to have tasks like a drive base, an arm, a grabber. And I thought about them going like last year. We needed an arm and a grabber. At least our robot did. And the year before, let me think. Yeah, we needed an arm and a grabber. And the year before that, we needed an arm and a grabber. And there seems to be a pattern there. At some point, you're probably going to design some kind of arm. You may not need it this year, but eventually you're going to need to design one. Good off-season project. Also, a grabber mechanism that you can manipulate objects with, and you may end up having an object this big or this big. But at least you have a mechanism. So these are all good things. Um, but there are times when maybe you only need a drive. Like last year, 1318. They had a, all <laughs> they had was an arm. It ran around the track. They were second qualifier at Seattle. They got they got to go to uh, Atlanta because they first thing won the. Terms of war. We have no mechanism. A nice robot, except for one match. You guys remember that match, don't you? Mm -hmm. When they ran into our robot, uncontrolled, and broke our claw. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We said sorry. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. They didn't mean to do it, that's for us. <laughs> it was sticking anyway. out in a dangerous way. It was it was fun. I mean, you're going to see lots of different things. I remember my claw was in a dangerous way. It was made of uh, carbon fiber. Snap. Anyway, having an overall design leader is important, so you're going to need a leader for each of these groups. And there are more groups in this. There's software, there's a bunch of other things. Uh, you'll want probably an electronics group and a software group, that's two separate groups. Um, then you need, but you do need one overall design leader that's going to solve because you have to figure out resources here. And the resources, the main resource you have to deal with, other than money, is weight. So, what we do on our team is I will, I will say, I'll pick, I'll say the drive train, you get uh, 50 pounds. The arm, you get uh, 25 pounds. The uh, grabber, you get uh, 12 pounds. Electronics group, you get, uh, this year probably more, 15 pounds. Last year our, oops, our our goal weight was 120. That may vary this year. Yeah. Then your design leader is a student? Whatever you want. Oh. On our team it would be a mentor and a student together. We generally pair a student with a mentor. But it would be, a, uh, my design leader and my student would be probably one of my more experienced students. I would, probably, it would be my, probably my best student. So, now, what I do in my team is I, as, as the overall CEO of the company, I give them 110 pounds to work with. 
because I know from the last nine years, if I give them 120, they will take 125. Even though they think they're coming in at 120. This gives me 10 pounds at the end. So they design for the lighter weight. If you really want to be good, you make them design for 100. And then in the end, you can say, oh, okay, I'll give you another five. Now, if they want to play with that, they, the arm group says, well, I can't do a 25, I need 27 pounds. Can they go back to the drive <coughs> team and say, can you do yours for 48? Can you give us a couple of pounds? That's their issue. They've got to work it out. And sometimes it'll come down to, you guys have half a pound. However, how, how can we help you change your design to make it come in half a pound lighter? Because I don't know if you realize, you go through an inspection, you have to make weight. If you don't make weight, you don't go in the field. You drill holes. <laughs> and, makes, and I can tell you, drilling holes is not a good way to lose weight. It takes a lot of holes to make up a pound. And I have seen, I have seen teams, many teams, come to the event having never weighed their robot. Now, you may think that's funny. There are plenty of teams that do it. First of all, how do you do it? How do you weigh a robot? Yeah, if you find a scale big enough. <laughs> On those whale scales. Team, you're, you're lucky. They probably have a scale you could use. Or you can buy a scale, or you can bring it to our place and you can put it on our scale. But do this before you put it in the crate. You can also weigh pieces of it. Don't, I mean, if it's not all done, weigh pieces. Weigh pieces as you go, too. So you have an idea. Don't wait until February the 17th at 8 in the morning and go, Oh man, our robot weighs 140 pounds. Because what will happen is you'll take it and then that nice arm you had comes off because you can't take it on the field. Now you just have a drive base and that's it. And that will happen to teams. I know it will happen. I know it will happen here. It happens in every region. They can't make weight. So when you are designing stuff, think about weight all the time from the very beginning. Don't wait till the end. If you're, you know, if you're putting cogs on, if you put a steel cog on this big to oper operate it, you ought to be thinking about, eh, it's got a lot of weight. Maybe I should think about an aluminum cog right now. Or how can I lighten it? Think about light, effective. How much weight do you need, really? Size of chain, there's all sorts of ways to lighten. Drilling holes, though, man, it takes a lot of holes. So, you need a design leader. Um, we communicate a variety of different ways. We have a weekly design review that's usually on Sunday. And if you have a bad leader, take them out. I don't mean. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like doing that. Don't be afraid and don't, you know, it's a good learning method. You have to be a little more uh, subtle with Let's go mentor leaders. Because you'll find some that aren't doing their job either. But, don't be afraid to remove them from that position and assign someone else. You know, someone's got to do that. Because if you don't, the whole team gets dragged in. And it really can happen very easily. Celebrate your mistakes. If you find mistakes in your design early, those are your friends. If you like that. Because you know, you're going to find mistakes. You're going to make them, and everybody does. You only have six weeks. So, but if you find them at the regional, they're not your friends, because you only have one day to fix them, or maybe less than a day. Uh, and you will find them at the regional. Be prepared for them. Anticipate things that could get broken. Have extra parts. Have spare parts. 